Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today I want to introduce you to the ICD-10 classification system. Now remember I said with ICD-10, CM is for diagnoses and there's two volumes. An alphabetic index, which is volume 2 at the front of the book, and a tabular list, which is the actual listing of codes at the back of the book, which is volume 1. The tabular list is an alpha, and I got my notes. Tabular list is an alpha numeric list of codes divided into chapters based on body system or condition. Your alphabetic index is an alphabetic list of terms and their corresponding code. Now, we mentioned code structure. Code structure, as far as ICD-10, CM, code structures, they start with an alphanumeric number and a decimal point. So ICD-10 CM codes have an alphanumeric structure with all codes starting with an alphabetic character and a decimal point is used to separate the basic three-digit character or category code from the subcategory and the subclassification. Most ICD-10 CM codes contain a maximum of six digits, but a few categories do extend to the seventh digit. So let's break this thing down so that you can actually see them. So I'm taking the camera off of me. Let me show you. This is the code book, and from looking at the code book, you guys could see, I'm just showing you the end of the alphabetic index with the W's. Now notice that's the alphabetic, where you look up the medical term. But look how the tabular list looks. It's an alphanumeric listing of codes. Okay, I wish my auto tuner would pick up. But it's actual listing of the codes that we looked up in the alphabetic index. Okay, so let's use for an example L00. So if I go to code L00, this is what I mean by a section. You notice it says L00 through L08. These are infections of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. It's a group of three digits. L00 is a category through L08 is a category. So a group of three digit categories is considered a section. Now if I go down to L02, cutaneous abscess, furuncle, and carbuncle. That's a three digit category. So notice the difference. A section is a group of three digit categories. A category is a three digit code. But notice L02 expands and the way that I know that it expands is that little number in a circle right beside L02 and it says a fourth digit. So notice that's three digits L02, one, two, three. It's telling me it cannot stand at that. You have to go to the fourth digit. L02.0. Well, there's a little, little circle there. So it's telling me it expands even more. So it goes to L02. Let's find one that's got L0201. Okay. Another example is L02.2. Category L02 by itself. Subcategory L02.2. Well, it's telling me go to the fifth digit. So underneath would be L02.21. Well, that's telling me go to the sixth digit. L02.211. Cutaneous abscess of abdominal wall. And notice as the code got more and more specific or got more and more numbers, it got greater and greater specificity. So I knew L02.21 was a cutaneous abscess of the trunk. But L02.211 is a cutaneous abscess of abdominal wall. It gives me greater specificity. Okay? Let me give you another example. Let's go to K29. K29 is gastritis and duodenitis. But notice K29 tells me 
carry that three-digit code to the fourth digit. There's a four in the circle. K29.0 is acute gastritis, but notice four digits is telling me take it to the fifth digit. So K29.00 is acute gastritis without bleeding. So as that code got greater and greater specificity or grew to more and more digits, when I got to K29.00, there's no little circle there. So K29.00 is as far as that code will go. And that's telling me acute gastritis without bleeding. However, if I needed to identify with bleeding, I'd go to K29.01. If a code expands, in other words, where it's telling me go to the fourth digit, go to the fifth digit, I have to go. In other words, that code, this code, will not stand alone. I cannot use that. I have to expand it when it tells me go to the next digit. I have to expand. Okay? Now there's something called a placeholder in ICD-10-CM. ICD-10-CM uses the letter X as a placeholder. It's a character on certain codes that allows for future expansion. So if I go to code T36, notice that code T36, oh, come on, auto tuning, there it goes. T36 tells me poisonings by adverse effects of and underdosing of penicillin. Well, it's telling me I need to carry that four digit code to the fifth digit. There's the fifth digit, T36.0x. Well, that's telling me go to the sixth digit. Well, T36.0x1. See that X in there? That X is a placeholder for future growth of this code. It's going to give me more and more specificity. But you're right, there is a seventh digit. And there's a box up here that says the appropriate seventh character is to be added to each code from category T36. And it's either A, a D, or an S. And I'm going to break down that seventh digit definition in a later video. But I just want you to understand today how the tabular works where it tells me T36.0 expands to the 4th, to the 6th, to the 7th. So it's telling me how far I need to go with that code. But that X in there is a placeholder for future growth. Okay, it's just a placeholder. And talking about a 7th digit, let's see if I can find another code, T16. Is another example of where, let's see if you can pick up T16. Notice T16 is a very small code right here. That's all the T16, foreign body in ear. It's got T16, T16.1, T16.2, T16.9. Then it goes to T17. So in order to use code T16, I've got this little pink writing that says the appropriate seventh character is to be added to each code from category T16. So I'm either need to add an A, a D, or an S. But notice there's only a T16.1. I've got to add a seventh digit. So before I can add that seventh digit, I've got to make that T16.1, 2, or 9 expand seven digits. So in order to do that, it's going to be T16.1, X, X, and then add one of these seventh digits, okay? In order for that code to be a legitimate code, because T16 is a seven digit code, because that box tells me I need to add a seventh digit. So if I only have four digits, I need to add placeholders X to make it seven digits long, okay? Okay, so in finishing up, I just want to make sure I stress that, again, this is your tabular list. And a lot of times it will tell you when to go to your fourth, your fifth, your sixth, and even your seventh digit when coding. All right, I want to quiz you a little bit on this. And send your answer to codemastercoach at gmail.com. Don't put it in the messages below because others will see your answer and just use your answers. So my question to you, number one, and either give me the codes out of this video or give me writing, you know, your explanation in words. 
Define a section. Number one, define a section. Question number two, define a category. Question number three, define a subcategory. Question number four, define a subclassification. And question number five, define tabular listing. Send your answers to codemastercoach at gmail.com and I'll gladly go through your answers, but I need to make sure you're understanding this before we move on to the alphabetic listing. And I wanna make sure that you're understanding how to use that one as well, but your answers to these five questions will help me to be able to move on. Be sure and email, your, email me your answers, codemastercoach at gmail.com. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. We've got a long road ahead of us, but we're going to do this. We're going to learn how to do medical coding. Welcome aboard, guys.